Hi. Any seats available? Just a few. I'm in the market. We have a good pair. Looking for two. Can I take them? Yes. <laughs> now we're on the hunt for some some seats for the van. Yes. But unfortunately, we had no luck after trying again and again to start the engine. So what we did is we put feelers out there on Facebook pages, Google pages, DIY camper pages, just to see if anyone could give us a little bit more information or if they've had the same problem. We decided to stop working on the engine, wait for a little bit more information and start focusing on the van conversion itself. Put him to work. See what we can come up with. Alright. Check out these babies. Are you happy with these ones? Mm hmm Some new seats for the van. <laughs> Not too bad. One down. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't have the torque bits that we needed. Mm. This little baby, yeah. So we went for a good 20 minute drive, then we had to get some water because we were so thirsty. Lots of traffic, anyway, but we have the right tools now, so it just makes the job simple. And that's that. Grab your seat. Okay. Or should I grab the other one? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to carry both? I can carry both. You think you can handle? Lifting. Okay, I'm breaking my back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the car's so far away. <laughs> I like my hat. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> So the, right now we're going to look at removing the seats from the van. Um, we obviously need to mount two separate seats uh, so we can also have a gap in the middle so we can get back and forward in the van. Uh, most vans come with the, these double seats as you see here and then a driver's seat um, but obviously we want them to match so um, we've decided we went and bought two seats yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to task with now removing them, uh, just a socket set ready that we need. Um, and as you can see, there's just uh, four bolts, I've already removed one. Um, and then I've got to try and get some torque screws at the back there. Um, and then we can see how we're going to mount, uh, mount the new seats. Probably we might have to get another bracket or we'll modify these brackets, but yeah, we'll see in a few minutes. A little something more I've got a plan in mind A special thing in store The light bulb inside my head Says get out and play Cause you never feel this way It's my lucky day It's my lucky day It's my lucky day It's my lucky day Don't need a plan with the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Back seats. So I was thinking we can cut this this bracket off here. And bra let's cut this bracket. Cut this one. And then I can cut it there. And then we can put some flat, like either some flat bar or some angle iron. And then we've got like a good base that fits the, the chassis perfectly. What to go over here? Yeah. Because we want to have swivel seats. 
Yeah, but also, I mean, that's the perfect mount. This is the perfect mounting for there. So maybe just modify this existing bracket. Mm. But now we need to get an angle grinder. <laughs> Let's just add to the list of tools that we need. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, save money, do it better. All right, good. Also, then, you know, it's also quite strong because it's all been reinforced, yeah. And then we can weld it. Gosh. Uh, a few minor tweaks, but we'll get there. <laughs> I'm definitely not sitting in the passengers. <laughs> <laughs> We're still gonna weld the brackets and all the rest of it, but we'll get the idea. Oh my gosh. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as Chris and myself prepare the van for the next stages of our van conversion.